All right, guys, it's Two with Vic here. Today, I'm gonna be answering some frequently asked questions and why I left Mafia Bikes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, what got me into bike life? This is a frequently asked question. Basically, what got me into bike life was, well, it's for the getaway, man. Dealing with bullshit, you get on a bike, you just, you're free. It's everything, bro. I mean, you can't really say much, but on a bike, man, it feels like you're free, like nothing else matters. It's that peace that like everybody needs. People think having a car is cool. People think, you know, fucking spending money on gas and everything is cool, man. Nah, man. Having a bike, it's like one of those getaways, bro. It's one of those things you just hop on two wheels, put your music in, that's it. You feel like you're free. All right, so basically, why I ride fixed gear other, besides free wheel, is because fixed gear is different. See, fixed gear is different. It's a type of shit that like, you ride with no brakes. So for example, like when you're on the bike, these right here, those are your brakes. That's what everybody don't get. Straps are your brakes, or and the bike consistently keeps pedaling for you. Me personally, I could do both, I'm vice versa, but I don't really mess with Free will like that. I'm more of a fish gear rider because, well, I originated from fish gear bikes and it's just like more my style type. All right, I ain't gonna lie. This question is frequently asked, but like how I came with the name too with it Vic was, it was by a friend of mine. They was like one of the homies. He told me, everybody called me Vic. So I used to have my name my name is my name is Vic, so it was cool like that. But then like all of a sudden my homie was just like too with it. And I was just like, it stuck. It basically stuck there. And like as soon as he said too with it, I combined it with Vic and then too with it Vic. And then from so on, I mean I've been making a name for myself from there. All right, a lot of people be asking me this. This is a very, very frequently asked question. See, my first bike, I didn't start on this. No, I didn't start on this. I started on a black retrospect fixie. Hold up, pause, cuz. What's the deal? Chilling, man. It wasn't this. Nah, it wasn't this. I started on a retrospect black fixie. Literally, I had free wheel with brakes and straps. I started from like the shittiest bikes possible. And then I just consistently practice and practice. That'd be frequently asked. Like you just need to practice and practice and practice. And like, just with practice, you, you get it. You gotta dedicate yourself to riding. But I mean, and then I swapped it to fixed gear and that's when it changed the whole thing for me. All right, so what's my favorite place to ride at? I like riding in LA. LA, that's my home, my hometown. I like to ride in LA because LA is just so big. You can go so many places. Like I wouldn't want to ride anywhere else, you know? It's cool to travel and everything, but I like LA. All right, so I'd want to travel and get like, see, my dream trip is New York. Take the fish gear scene in New York show them different type of seeing how people do it or i mean new york yeah new, mainly new york i mean i like to go to philadelphia as well but new york's pretty cool all right so this is my frequently 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 asked question my favorite bike shop jesus bike shop if you're in the south central area bro go check them out i promise you you will not regret it bro Shout out Jesus Bike Shop. Shout out Jesus himself. Stays hooking it up. The best bike shop ever, without hands hands down. If y'all in the South Central area, go check out Jesus Bike Shop. All right, so this is a question everybody been asking. Why I left Mafia Bikes? Well, first of all, shout out Danny Yee for the opportunity for my first ever big sponsor. It was cool riding for them. It was cool, you know, rocking their bikes, but it really wasn't for me. I didn't suit it. The steel frames are not for me. 
I didn't really like it. It was cool opportunity, you know, work with them, but the way that they work, I just wasn't messing with me. I didn't like it. Like, there's just, I could go on and on about this, just, I didn't, didn't mess with Mafia Bikes. So, the reason why I really left them, because, well, one, they're not promoting their riders enough. They're not focusing on the main goal, which is to produce good bikes and, like, help out the riders. They're, they're more so focused about other things. They're more so focused about other things. They don't really show that appreciation. But, I mean, shout out Danny Yeet for the opportunity, you know. It was cool while it lasted, but it just wasn't for me. But I'm proud to say, though, I'm officially a collective rider sponsor now. Shout out Ryan Taylor and shout out Fever One. I'm officially a sponsor rider for a collective. You got big opportunities on the way, big things coming for the face of LA. That's all I got to say right here. No longer a part of Mafia Bikes. I'm officially sponsor rider for a collective bikes. Stay tuned for what's on the way.